today I'm going to show you how to uh, create water slide decals uh, for your headstock. You can put them on the front or you can uh, <laughs> use them as I do. I use them for, um, for serial numbers and stuff like that. Pretty easy. So. Uh, we'll take a walk inside and we'll sit down at the computer and we'll do it the simplest way possible, which is seems to always seem to be the easiest way possible. So, sit tight. Okay, we'll get here's to how it. we do it. You open up Notepad, and it's really simple freaking program. And this is what I have saved. And now what you do is you just go over to file and you print one. Make sure um, you're doing the best quality you can do. Here's what you're printing. Now, right here is, is, like it says on the back, inkjet water slide decal paper. Um, I picked this up on eBay. You can get it at Office Max or Staples or any of those kind of places. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small piece and tape it right here and then run this back through my printer and it'll just print what I want right there instead of putting the whole sheet in and because as you use it you know it'll get too small at some point where you can't um, can't print that anymore so let me cut a small piece and we'll print yeah, this up. so there it is taped over my printing now we're going to take this Turn it upside down and put it back in the printer. Simple, simple. Now we're going to come up here and print it again. Okay, now it's printed on our water slide decal paper. So we're going to take it out to the shop and we're going to spray a light coat of lacquer. Over put a light coat of lacquer over the top so when we soak it in the water, it doesn't, uh, we don't lose all the ink. So we're just. That's it. Simple as that. Now we'll let that dry. We'll let that dry and, and then we'll install it. Be right okay, back. After spraying your lacquer, what we want to do is smooth it out with, uh, what do you got here? 800 grit sandpaper. Make it absolutely flat and smooth. So your water slide decal will stick to it good. So uh, we're gonna start doing that now. Um, I wet sand using naphtha rather than water because if water goes into these holes and soaks into the wood, it has a tendency to expand the wood and it will crack your finish. And it won't happen right away, but you'll come back a few hours later and you'll see that your finish is cracked. So whenever I do wet sanding, I don't use water. I use um, naphtha, basically lighter fluid. 
because it evaporates before it gets a chance to soak all into the wood. It just works way better. So let's get to it. Okay, that looks pretty good, nice and flat. So, take the water slide decal and we just drop it in some warm water. And uh, we'll just wait a few minutes. Should take about a minute, you know before it loosens the glue up. Okay, we're just about ready to put it on. The dip a finger in our water. Put a little water on top of the finish. It's gonna help the decal slide around. Just slide it off. Like that. Get this out of the way. And we'll put it to where we want it. And I'm going to dab the water off. Lightly, so we don't wipe the lacquer finish off of the front of the decal. Nice and easy. Put this over the decal, just press down so we could soak up all the extra water. Here we are. There it is. In case you're wondering what it says. Licensed by Fender, modified by Boudreaux Guitars, and a serial number I'm giving it. Um, this build was a licensed Fender body and a licensed Fender neck, and pretty much most of the hardware is uh, Fender. So we're going to let that dry. And then uh, put a few layers of uh, lacquer over the top and then wet sand it again. And as we do that, the outline of the decal will pretty much all disappear. You won't even be able to see it. So we'll be back for that.
So we put a couple of coats of lacquer over the top. Still see a little outline. And once we get a couple more coats over it, of course we need to let this lovely lacquer cure for six weeks so it can basically gas off the way it's supposed to and then we'll, uh, we'll wet sand and buff that out and uh, it'll look seamless which is always what we're after. So, there it is. So, that's it. Um, I'm not going to wait six weeks and then show you how to wet sand that stuff. That's, you know, you know how to wet sand. You saw me do it before I put it on. Um, yeah, when it's done, wet sand it, buff it out, and you're good to go. So, that's the quick and easy, down and dirty way to do water slide decals. We'll see you next time.